How's everyone doing? This is Oz from Oz Mechanics. We're going to be talking about uh, uh, misfires right here. So we got a 2005 Toyota Camry and uh, misfire can be anything from lack of ignition, fuel, or compression. I'm going to show you the easiest one to check and uh, anyone can do this. Basically get you a little test light. Got this one from Harbor Freight. I think it was on sale for $1.99. Really cheap. So right now what we're just going to look for is spark and see if we have any sufficient spark and uh, pretty easy test so let's check it out you know I would recommend wearing gloves because it hurts when you get shocked with these so here we go let's see if we can get this going alright so we're going to turn this car on alright so when you hook this up Make sure that you hook up the other lead of the spark test to a negative, battery negative. So here we go. I got the, the spark plug out. We're going to stick that inside, see if we get any spark. We get spark, but we get spark, but I really have to put that in almost half an inch to get anything. So now what we're going to do, put this back in there, engine sounds a lot better, it still has a minor miss. We're going to pull out the last one from here, and we're going to check the spark on that one. So, I barely put the prong in there and it was sparking. The other one I had to basically touch the inside probe of the ignition coil. Uh, there you go. So, on that one, most likely throwing the ignition coil. This has 300,000 miles. So, I'm pretty sure it's the original one on this vehicle. So, new ignition coil on this one. Should fix it up, but uh, there's other tests for uh, for the ignition. If I'm not mistaken, I have a tester here. You know what? I'm lying. I don't have the tester here, but I did make a video. So if you do go and look at my videos, I do have a spark tester on there, and uh, that spark tester is more accurate as the kilovolts, you're looking at 30,000 kilovolts, most likely. That's the base uh, number, and um, it's a good little test. What you can do, you can test all four of them, and if you see uh, one that's not doing good, that's going to be your issue. Or if you're just scared that the integrity of the wire is bad, what you can do is just twist, uh, just change out the ignition coils from uh, 1 to 4, 4 to 1, and... If one still acts up, then you probably have an issue with the wire. But if it moves to the other one, then you know that your ignition coil is bad. Uh, be careful when you do this. This is uh, I've been shocked plenty of times. That's why I wear rubber gloves now. And these are thick old ones. They, uh, they're expensive. But uh, if you do like this video, please th thumbs up, subscribe. And I will make other videos. Try to educate y'all. Uh, have a nice day. And enjoy it. Oh, I forgot on that uh, the light tester. You don't have to get the fancy old ones. Like I said, I bought this one for Harbor Freight, really cheap. Okay, goodbye. Have a nice day.